Well, novelty is not necessarily good or nice. Novelty is complex. That's what it is. And so I see really a concatenation of uh, tendencies and uh, forces here at the end. It's only going to get weirder. The level of contradiction is going to rise excruciatingly, even beyond the excruciating present levels of contradiction. <laughs> so uh, uh, I think it's just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder, and finally it's going to be so weird that people are going to have to talk about how weird it is. And at that point, novelty theory can come out of the woods uh, because eventually people are going to say, what the hell is going on? It's just too nuts. It's not enough to say it's nuts. You have to explain why it's so nuts. So between now and uh, 2012, the next 14 years, I look for the invention of artificial life, the cloning of human beings, uh, possible contact with extraterrestrials, possible human immortality, and at the same time, appalling acts of brutality, genocide, race baiting, uh, uh, homophobia, famine, starvation, because uh, the systems which are in place to keep the world sane are in utterly inadequate to the forces that have been unleashed. Uh, the collapse of the socialist world, the rise of the internet, these are changes so immense Nobody could imagine them ever happening. And now that they have happened, nobody even bothers to mention what a big deal it is. Uh, the fact that there is no such thing as the Soviet Union, people never talk about it anymore. But when I was a kid, the, the notion that that would ever change was beyond conceiving. Uh, so the good news is that as primates, we're incredibly adaptable to change. Put us in a desert, we survive. Put us in the jungle, we survive. Under Hitler, we survive. Under Nixon, we survive. We can put up with about anything, and it's a good thing because we're going to be tested to the limits. Uh, uh, the breakdown of anything, and this is why the right wing is so alarmed, because what they see going on is the breakdown of all tradition all order, all sanctioned norms of behavior. And they're quite right that it's happening, but they're quite wrong to conclude that it should be resisted or is somehow evil. Uh, the mushroom said to me once, it said, this is what it's like when a species prepares to depart for the stars. You don't depart for the stars under calm and orderly conditions. It's a fire in a madhouse. And that's what we have, the fire in the madhouse at the end of time. This is what it's like when a species prepares to move on to the next dimension. The entire destiny of all life on the planet is tied up in this. We are not acting for ourselves or from ourselves. We are, we happen to be the point species on a transformation that will affect every living organism on this planet at its conclusion.